Hello everyone, this is Chaplain Song Kim. I'm Deputy Command Chaplain in the 63rd Readiness Division. I pray you are doing well. This is a true story that I heard. Megan, the boy's mother, decided to find out how much her young son understood. She asked her son, where do you live? In my new house, he replied. The mother asked if he knew what street he lived. Palmer, he said with a look of satisfaction. Right, his mom enthusiastically responded. Can you say 1314 Palmer? Then his mom asked, what is your last name? There was a pause, and then he blurted out, Douglas, Brent Douglas. Well, she said, that is your first and middle name, but what is your last name? There was another long pause. Finally, he said, come here, Brent Douglas, come here. Well, if he didn't exactly know who he was, at least he knew where he should be. Who am I? What am I doing here? What should I be doing in life? These are the most important questions that we should be taking seriously, for God wants us to know the answer. They are important. These are the questions the psalmist was asking. They have to do with our personal identity and our eternal destiny. How we answer those questions determines how we will live and order our lives. Let's look at Psalm 139, 39, verse 1. There is one major observation the psalmist makes about God. That is, God knows us personally. David wrote, O oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. God is very personal to David. God searches him and knows him perfectly. There's nothing hidden from the knowledge of God so that there can be no excuses, justifications, or fabrications. This is an important truth to understand. There are those who think that because they have hidden something from others, they have hidden it from God. Nothing could be further from the truth. I can still remember one young airman of the Royal Canadian Air Force who was killed at age 19, wrote this poem about his early flying experience. Up, up the long, delirious, burning blue, I've topped the wind-swept heights with easy grace, where never lark or even eagle flew. And while with the silent lifting mind I've trod, the high untrespassed sanctity of space put out my hand and touched the face of God. Touched the face of God. You have to be looking before you find something. Only those who ask are answered. Only those who seek find, and only those who not find the door open to them. God is everywhere, but you have to be looking for him to find him. COVID-19 is a bad thing, but there will be good gifts that God can bring even from this because God knows you very much. As I think about my own life, and maybe this is true for you through COVID-19, I have been reminded that I do not control my life. Yes, I cannot control my life. COVID-19 has shown me that I am utterly and completely dependent on the living God. May God bless you and keep you in his knowledge and power. Have a blessed day, blood and fire.